So, it's been a long time since I've done a video, and sorry about the glare. Um, I just thought I'd give everybody or anybody that watches these videos an update about what's going on. Um, so, it is uh, June 6th, 7th. Um, so, I just had a birthday. I'm now 32, and I don't feel really any older. Um, it was a really nice weekend, though. Um, I spent um, a lot of time with my husband on Saturday. His parents came and watched Kaylee for the day, most of the afternoon actually. We were gone like seven hours, I think, and we just had the, the best time. We really needed that time um, to be together, and we went out to lunch, and we went shopping, and I used some birthday money I had to find some new clothes, and it was just really nice to have that one-on-one -on -one time together. It's um, it's really different spending time together by yourselves than when you have a 15 month old with you <laughs> that you're trying to entertain and you know get through the tantrums if they have any and anyway um so we did that on saturday came home kaylee had a blast with her grandparents and um, went to bed no problem with us and it was a really great day so then sunday um, I actually went to the farmer's market with Kaylee that morning. I hadn't been in months, so I decided to skip church that morning and go to the farmer's market with her. And we found some beautiful flowers and um, some just some fresh veggies um, and fruit. And um, then when we got home, Colby and I and Kaylee went out. I think we went out to lunch. Um, we just actually didn't do very much that day. Sunday was my actual birthday. And... Um, yeah, I just, we just had a really nice day and um, had a family day. Just ran some errands and cooked a little bit at home and we didn't do anything special that day. The main part of it for my birthday was the day before spending that time with my husband. That was really nice. Um, so today is Tuesday and um, she's actually napping right now. And um, I just thought I'd give a little life update situation. Nothing major really. Um, just I haven't been able to vlog in a really long time and I actually do miss it but there have been quite a few changes um, going on here one of which is why I can't vlog very much anymore I started um, doing transcription if you're not familiar with what transcription is you basically are sent audio files that you listen to and then you type out what they're saying so I have like 15 years of typing experience I used to work as an analyst for the state and I did that for like 12 years and so I type pretty well and um, this is a very good um, job for somebody that wants to stay at home. What's funny, I found it on Craigslist actually and I thought it was a scam and when I responded to the ad, this was back in April I think, um, early April, I thought it was a scam and I thought oh, I'll just see, they basically were saying transcription is needed, you know, no experience necessary, work from home and I thought that's perfect for a stay at home mom. So that's what I did and I responded to it. And I got an email five minutes later asking, can you attend an online meeting, you know, on this date and this time? And I thought, oh, sure, okay. And that's where it got started. I passed a typing test and another grammar test, and here I am. So I transcribe when she's napping or um, and or after she's in bed for the night. So it's not a whole lot of time. It's not a whole lot of money, but it's a little bit, and it helps. It really does. Um, and... So that's new with me. Um, let's see, Colby recently had surgery. He had um, an emergency appendectomy last week, week before. Um, that was really awful. Seeing somebody that you love in that much pain is just unbearable. It was just really awful and it took forever to get him into surgery, but um, he's the type that does not like to go to the doctor and I don't blame him. I don't rush off to the doctor for every ailment either, but he was doubled over in pain and it was like 11 o'clock at night and I'm like, you have a half an hour to change your mind because we're going to the emergency room. So luckily my parents live right around the corner. My mom was able to come stay with Kaylee, but it was such a whirlwind. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing with, maybe it's a parent thing or a mom thing, but like I've never run on that little sleep in my life. Like, yes, I had a newborn at one time, but like... I was running on pure exhaustion because we got to the hospital at like 11.30, right? And then we're in the waiting room, in the emergency room, and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. And then you get checked in, and then you might get a bed. 
and you know there were people just vomiting outside our room and it was just awful I mean I was just like oh my gosh I'm so glad Clay Keely is not here like I'm not touching anything like I just didn't want to bring any germs home and you know he's in pain and I'm trying to focus on him and what can I do I can't do anything except try and keep him calm which he already is anyway so they finally get him into a bed they finally give him some pain meds he gets a little bit of relief but he's the type of guy where and his dad's the same way they gave him some pain meds and they said oh you'll be feeling pretty good pretty soon and I thought oh good you know anything to, to give him some relief and he barely felt it he's still awake he's still talking and I'm like aren't you supposed to be asleep like not that it would knock him out but you know it it's now what one in the morning I think and I thought it would make him go to sleep and, and he's just laying there like in so much pain and I kept asking them is there anything else you can do anyway so it finally comes around 4 30 in the morning I'm still awake I haven't slept at all and his parents bless their hearts they came up it's an hour drive for them they came up to stay with him so I could go home because I had to relieve my mom because she was watching Kaylee and Kaylee was getting up at 6 in the morning at that time I get home at 5 15 I have 45 minutes to sleep I sleep for a half an hour, she wakes up at 6 o'clock on the dot, and I drive to the nearest coffee shop, little mom and pop coffee shop down the street, and I just chug all the decaf coffee I can just to stay awake. I was so exhausted. I had been up for pretty much 24 hours at that point, but it's different than when you have a newborn because I thought about it. I thought, well, I've had a newborn. You know, you're feeding them around the clock, you know, and all this stuff, and you're sleep deprived, and it's just exhaustion. But it's not the same when you have a 15 month old, very active, running around toddler and trying to keep up after that. At least the newborn doesn't move. <laughs> so I was, you know, she's in the stroller in the coffee shop and she was just being such a good girl. It's almost like she knew like, okay, I gotta be really good for mama. And um, so yeah, we were in the coffee shop. I ordered some breakfast. We just had some eggs and, and fruit and some bacon and whatnot. I just didn't care. I'd been trying not to spend money, but just whatever. I needed to just get food in us. There was no way I was trying to cook at home. I was not going to trust myself with trying to operate an oven on 45 minutes of sleep. And so anyway, um, the long story short of this as I continue rambling is that he didn't get into surgery until 4 p.m. the next day which is crazy. They kept saying, oh, it's going to be 10 a.m. It's going to be 12 p.m. Oh, sorry, it's been pushed 2 p.m. And meanwhile, they are just administering pain med after pain med. And by the way, this was Dilaudid. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I've had it once before and um, I was flying. I really felt that. And he kept having, I mean, they weren't overdosing him or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. But for his level of pain that he was having, which, I mean, he was... I mean, it was true that he was in that much pain, but they couldn't get him to surgery because other people kept having to be, have surgery before him. Oh, I just felt so awful. I felt so bad. And it was really frustrating because I couldn't do anything about it. So I finally, anyway, it's 4 p.m. the next day. He has the surgery. His parents are there with him. I've been home this entire time with Kaylee. I was able to nap for an hour when she took a two-hour nap. And um, I was able to go pick him or go see him I think it's six the next day. My parents came, watched Kaylee for me. Um, I was able to visit him for like an hour and he had to stay overnight, which is understandable, but poor guy, you know, he's shoved into a room with four other people and he looked actually really good after having had surgery. It's, uh, it's laparoscopic, so it's not too invasive, but um, he was really sore. So anyway, um, as I wrap this all up, he was home for about two weeks recovering and let me just tell you <laughs> having um, a spouse home that you know to his credit he couldn't do anything per doctor's orders but can't do anything and then trying to take care of a 15 month old by myself while he's home you know trying to accommodate him and get him things and oh my goodness that was crazy <clears throat> but um yeah so he's had surgery and um, he's doing very well. He's back at work now. Um, he's doing great. He's able to, um, he can't lift Kaylee. He still can't lift anything above 15 pounds. And um, so he's able to eat regular foods now. The first week he wasn't able to eat anything except um, very mild foods. Um, obviously nothing spicy, um, stuff like that. And he did pretty well. And so now um, they had um, 
just a couple days ago, we went to the hospital to do a checkup appointment just to make sure the incisions are healing okay. They're healing great. Doctor was really impressed. So he's got, you know, the go-to to go ahead and eat, which of course he's like, give me all the flavorful food ever. So I was trying to make things that he would like at home um, that he wasn't able to eat before. So, um, sorry, I'm just checking on our cat. <sighs> Miles is in the backyard on his leash. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so let's see my transcription thing and then the surgery. Kaylee's doing great. Um, she is talking more than ever now. She is saying things like chicken, which is it's so adorable. She says chicken. She says broccoli. And then other times when you ask her to say something, you know how when they hear, I guess when toddlers hear you say something and they try to repeat it, they'll kind of say the one word that they think they hear over and over. So her word is date day. It's like D-E-D-E, date day, date day. And I'll say, say, you know, whatever I ask her, can you say this, date day, can you say this, date day, it's so funny. And um, she has said things like just randomly, I'll be talking to her or asking her a question. The other day I was giving her some almond milk. It's just unsweetened. It was just as a, a treat, really. She never has anything besides water. And um, um, I put some almond milk in a sippy cup for her and I said, Kaylee, would you like some almond milk? And I kid you not, Colby was right there and she looked at me and says, almond milk. It was like the cutest thing ever. She repeated it like verbatim. And Colby looked at me, he's like, did she just say it? I said, yeah. And I asked her to say it again and of course she wouldn't. She says, day day. <laughs> so, but she is just, it's amazing at this age. Oh, and she's sitting up. Oh, little stinker. I'm gonna have to end this soon. Um, but she is just growing so much. She is now, um, she's still in 24 month or two toddler clothes, depending on the brand. And um, she is definitely growing into more of a toddler. And when I say that, I mean mostly personality wise. She is definitely trying to challenge me and get her way sometimes. And there are more tantrums, but they're quickly resolved. She's still one of those that you can distract pretty easily if you need to distract her with something or, um, you know, I'm not going to give in. And if I ask her to pick up her toys and put them in the bin, which she will do, she knows how to do that. She'll clean up her toys, but sometimes she'll clean up a couple and then look at me and say, I don't know. And it's just funny because she knows she's just trying to get out of it. And I'll say, no, please finish picking up your toys and put them away. And sometimes she'll just kind of, you know, look down or say, uh-uh, or run around and try and hide from me. But I'll still, you know, I'll still enforce it. You know, Kaylee, we need to pick up your toys. And um, it's funny. She is so smart. She can totally, she, it's weird because you can see the wheels turning. Like she understands what I mean when I ask her, Kaylee, please go pick up your toys. Or Kaylee, please put your books away. Um, I'm really getting in the habit of, um, let's see, like having her put her books away when we're done reading. Which, by the way, she is a total bookworm. Um, just like her daddy. I used to be a total bookworm too until then I became a mom and I have no time to read. <laughs> but um, I do love to read. I just never have time to. But um, so she insists on reading before her nap and before bedtime and when she wakes up in the morning. Every day she will pull out the same three books. She has three favorite books that she loves to read and it's funny because you'll pick a random one to start reading and she'll say mm -mm, no and shake her head no and insist on the next one. You get two pages into the next one. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, no. And she'll, you know, move on to the next one. It's so funny. Anyway, um, so she is just growing so quickly. She is becoming so smart, so intelligent. Um, we are just so proud of her. It's just amazing the things that she is learning to do. And she loves to help. She's in that phase where she wants to help me with everything. She'll, you know, take a, um, a cloth and try and... Um, clean the floor or clean the windowsill, something within her reach, clean her toys. It's just so sweet. If I'm vacuuming, she'll want to try and hold on to the vacuum while I'm vacuuming. Um, yeah, what else can I do with her? Um, um, I am still nursing her. She's 15 months. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. It's when she decides to. Um, I'm thinking that if we have another baby, maybe next year or something, I'd like to just concentrate on one baby at a time. I wasn't planning on doing tandem nursing. Um, of course, let me just say it's everybody's choice to, you know, each mama's choice is their own. Nothing wrong with that. I know quite a few moms that, you know, I know all over the spectrum that stop at a year that, you know, um, that are, that formula feed their babies. I know moms that 
um, they stop at 18 months. I know that mom's that tandem nurse. I, I know all sorts, so it's to each their own. Let me just put that out there. But um, my preference is I would like to concentrate on one baby at a time. I have heard that nursing when you're pregnant, which I'm not, by the way, but I've heard that nursing when you're pregnant is incredibly painful. And given the amount of pain that I was in this general area last time I was pregnant, I can't imagine nursing through that. And that was just... And it was for months. It just didn't let up. It was just a lot of pain. And I can't imagine, you know, nursing a toddler with teeth, might I add, through that. So but we'll just see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when it comes to that. But um, anyway, she is now, let's see, she just went through a huge growth spurt. She's wearing a size 5 shoe now. Um, she had quite a few size 4s. I just purchased a couple more size 4s for her like three weeks ago and she's already outgrown them. Um, so her daddy and I, um, during my birthday shopping spree as we call it, we went um, and got a couple new pairs of shoes for her. Um, new size 5 shoes. And um, let's see, her hair's growing out more. Um, I just thought I'd give kind of a quick, I'm, I'm not going to edit this very much, so I'm sorry if it's a long video. I just wanted to give a quick little update. I watch my videos sometimes. I know I don't have very many uploaded, but I watch them sometimes. And I really do miss trying to make little, you know, um, snippets of memories, if you call it. I'm not into editing. I don't know how to do it very well, if you will. Um, I don't have a fancy program to use or a camera for that matter. I use my iPhone. But I do miss um, being able to record and watch things, you know, watch how little she was. When I recorded my first video, she was so little. And now she's a toddler, a mobile little kid, and just running around and talking and being so active and lovey. And it's just so sweet. So I do want to record more. Um, I just, it just doesn't happen. And now that I'm transcribing when she's napping, well, normally I don't have an assignment today, <laughs> but I just don't have time keeping up the house and a kid and transcribing and shopping and grocery shopping and all that stuff. I just don't have time, but I will try and upload when I can. Um, I need to go get her because now she's awake, but I just thought I'd give a little update. So, um, I guess I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye. Sweetheart. What are you doing? Yeah, come here. Call me baby. Hello. Look at you! So cute! See, this is my favorite shirt. Well, one of them. Ooh. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to sit down and do like a really quick update. Um, I do miss filming, like I said. Um, I'm just trying to do it here and there. And um, yeah, so that is what's going on with us, huh? Can you wave bye-bye? Wave bye-bye! Bye-bye. No, not bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.